Hi guys. All right. So like I was saying, we have a new location tonight. Um, and we're kind of trying it out. So this is the new flare. It's still coming along. Um, but now we've got our pavers in. So we're not just on dirt. And big thanks to Dave for busting his back today and last weekend getting the pavers ready. And probably again tomorrow, <laughs> mowing the grass. Um, but so we thought like this is a nice, nice new thing. We're, we're still in the process of putting stuff up out here. We're gonna get some, some big plants and we're gonna get some hanging baskets and stuff. But it's totally coming along and the lair is working. We're, we're doing lives in there. We're gonna do the live tomorrow in there. And um, I'm creating in there and it's really nice. It's really nice to have my own little space to work in. So, <clears throat> tonight is our Virgo full moon, or new moon. Jeez, Joe. Virgo new moon, sorry. Um, and actually, today we went to, my hands are all pretty from herbs. Um, today we went to the, it was very quick and sorry if I missed anybody, um, but the Lunum Love, uh, their first little fair, but we had to, I had to tag patch it all morning and then I ran home, got Dave, we ran up there real quick and we needed to eat because we hadn't eaten all day. So we scarfed down some food, came home, we had to get everything situated since like I said, we moved where we normally do the, the our rituals, so we had to re-situate everything. Um, but it was really, really nice. Um, super cute. I got some good stuff. Uh, I got some new sprays from Bobby Lava. And um, I new salmon oil. I always, I always like to like meet and, and see all the people in the community, and, and we got some, some new really great people um, some people that we've known from Instagram but I've never got to meet live so that was really really cool um, but I, I just I enjoy it and I'm a big I want to say a big proponent of wherever you are if, if there are psychic fairs or there are witchy fairs or, or anything go out and support your fellow witches go out and meet people in your community and um, just just be there it's really really I think it's really really important you know um, there aren't that many of us so if you can be there and be supportive even if you just walk through and say hi and talk to people I just think it's a really important thing to do for our community and it, and it gets you out there and you get to meet other witches in your community that you may not have thought, you may have not ever ever met otherwise so it's a win-win situation but so anyway um like i said tonight is our new moon in virgo and i'm actually really excited about about this one something that i very much believe in and i i think that that we're all here for a reason so I'm really excited for this, for this ritual to rest. And we have a plane. Okay, two seconds for the plane to pass. I'm sure as you all can tell me that my hair falls every time we go. We're right by the, the Long Beach Airport here. <laughs> Dave is saying hi. Okay, so each new moon gives us an opportunity to lay out the plans for our daily life. New moons teach us to define what is important to us and how we want to spend our energies and how we want to focus those energies. It also reminds us that we are in control of our destinies. <coughs> Allow this new moon to empower you to believe and your potential to design the life that you want, that you desire, that you're craving, that your soul needs. 
you hold all that power to manifest your personal visions and what you want to be in your life. And I think it's really important to remember that it's the small things that you do every day that are rituals to help you manifest. You know, yes, you can do you can do a big layout and you can you know, you can do spell work, but it's literally those little things that you do every day. Stir your coffee clockwise and put your intention for what you want for the day. Uh, when you take a bath or a shower, feel that water cleansing you. Um, meditate on what your goal is for the day, what you want to manifest for that day. It's those little things that make that make the change and make things happen in your life because you're constantly 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 putting back that intention and keeping your mindset on those intentions and on those things in your life uh, so of course we're coming from the crazy fires of Leo season when we're building confidence and we're, you know, we're, we're walking in our true path to the very grounding energies of Virgo. Uh, you know, each zodiac sign brings us different energies, different intentions, different vibrations uh, that we can work with. And it's how you focus those and how you learn to work with those that helps make the change. Virgo is the sign of the goddess. This divinely, divinely, we can't talk, divinely feminine energy <laughs> teaches us many things about our power to heal, to grow, and to align in the universe. All beings carry this energy. It doesn't matter what gender you were assigned at at birth or what gender they, that you associate with. Um, everyone has that feminine energy. And you can work with that feminine energy of Virgo. Because all of us have a balance of the masculine and feminine energy in us. And yes, you may feel you have more feminine energies or you have more masculine energies or vice versa. And and with those, again, it doesn't matter what what gender you were assigned or what gender you associate with. We all have both of those energies in us. So everyone can work with that feminine verbal energy. Um, it teaches us about our power and teaches us that we all have something unique about ourselves. Um, and it really focuses on healing yourself to find your unique energy and your unique gifts. I don't know. Sorry, my dogs are throwing bananas about something. I don't know what they're doing. They're barking at somebody or something. <laughs> um, sorry. Okay, so... Um, again, the Virgo energy teaches us about our power and in turn empowering us to give ourselves to the world in our own unique way that raises the world vibration. Because again, when you heal yourself and you empower yourself, then you are able to give that out to other people and you in turn are walking in your true self you're feeling your power you're feeling your unique gifts and when people encounter you when when you're just vibing super high and, and you know what you're giving to the world and you know that kind of person you are and you're out there to help empower the rest of the world people can't help but feel that same energy and they can't help but then want to try to change themselves and empower themselves and heal themselves. 
So by healing ourselves and empowering ourselves, we are completely raising the universal vibration. And it may seem like, oh, well, you know, I've got all these things I'm working on healing, and I've got all this stuff that I'm dealing with. We all do. Everyone does. That's not, it's not saying that by you learning to empower yourself and by you healing yourself and finding your unique gift for this world, that everything's perfect. It's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But what you're doing is helping to heal and empower the rest of the world. It's by healing and empowering yourself. So, it's, I think it's very, very important. Um, Virgo is called the sign of service. But it's really a lot more because service can mean so, so many things. To be of service means a bazillion things, right? Virgo teaches us how we can be of service by helping others, we're just talking, by finding our unique gift. This is the energy that we have that no one else in the world has. It's what makes us unique and is our unique offering to this world. So this, this could seem kind of vague. Your gift. What's your gift? Your gift doesn't have to be you're an incredible artist. It could be that you're an incredible artist. Um, it could be you create beautiful music that lifts up the rest of the world, that enlightens the rest of the world. Okay. Um, it could be that you are a super compassionate person and by your showing compassion, that's your gift to the world. It could be that you're a healer. It could be that you see things, you have visions. There's so many ways that your gift could come out. It could be that you're just a really wonderful, helpful person and that your gift is to be out there and helping the rest of the world. But the hard part is finding your gift. So that's what we're working on tonight. <laughs> um, so to, to start on our journey to find our gift, Part of it is finding your gift, accepting your gift, and then sharing your gift with the world. And these Virgo energies of this service and that goddess feminine healing energy really helps us on this journey. Woo. Um, this is a season to focus on what we have to offer to others to help them heal, not feel empty, to help them feel empowered and ultimately contribute to the future of a more evolved society. So the journey of finding your gift can take a long time. Or you know what, you could wake up tomorrow and go, that's my gift. I am great with guiding people to find their higher self or to, to heal. And you wake up tomorrow and you know that's what you want, what you want to do, what you're here to do. But for a lot of people, it takes a long time. And I think that the, the beginning, the starting of finding your gift is what makes you happy. What brings you joy? What do you feel passionate about? What is that one thing that no matter what you always want to do? You know, even if you're down or you feel sad or you're having a rough week, what's that one thing that you really, you still want to do, you still want to get up, you still feel passionate about? So it's, it's a good time to take a look, long look at yourself and, and figure out what it is that brings you joy. What makes you happy? What, what do you have a burning passion about that you want to bring to this world? Another part of finding, 
finding your gift is then accepting your gift. And knowing that you are good enough to give your gift out to the world. And I think that that last one, putting your gift out there, is probably the biggest hurdle for everybody. Because let's just let's say you, you you like to draw, you like this book. It makes you happy, you enjoy it, it's, it's a beautiful thing for you, you get you know, you really get in your groove, you get like in a super medical state when you're doing this. But then to put it out there and show the world and take your gift to the rest of the universe, that can be kind of scary. Because we're only human and there are going to be negative people, there are going to be people that don't appreciate your gift, there are going to be people that isn't on the same level that I am. Because it doesn't, it doesn't matter that we're not all Mozart, Picasso's, Gandhi, Mother Teresa's, whatever. We all are unique and we're put here with that gift to, to raise a vibration. And there's a lot of people out there that don't want to have their vibrations raised. <laughs> They want to stay in their negativity. They want to stay in their bullshit because it's safe for them. So you can't let those people out of fear have you not give your gift. Personal, personal story. I really feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like this is my gift. Does everybody like what I say? No. Definitely not. I'm sure there are people that send all kinds of crap my way. But you know what? This is what I feel I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I feel my path is. My gift is. Is, you know, helping. Helping to raise everyone's vibration, helping to heal people, just putting my experiences and my words of wisdom out there. And that's not saying that my words of wisdom are the end all be all, because it's totally not. We all have our own personal experiences, but it's, it's not, it's not an easy thing to do because you get a lot of ridicule and you get a lot of Backlash, I guess the good word. Backlash. Um, but you know what? You still gotta keep trying, huh? and you still gotta put it out there, and you still gotta do what the universe put you here to do. And it really just makes you a stronger person because you know. I know it did, it did that earlier. It scared me. Um, you know that that's what you're supposed to be doing, and that's why you're here. We're all here for a reason. Nobody was just put here to. Grow up, get a job, go to the grocery store, and do laundry. Like, we all have a purpose. We all have a purpose.
I did something a little out of my comfort zone, and Dave knows. <laughs> I have not worked with clay since probably right out of high school. I paint, I draw, I make jewelry, resin, all of those things. But I honestly have not worked with clay since probably right out of high school. But I felt compelled to work with clay personally. So it was it was a learning experience, <laughs> to say the least. I learned a lot. The next one will be a lot better, you guys, I promise. Um, but it was fun. It was fun to get out of my comfort zone and kind of try something new and different. I was excited about it. Um, so I painted, uh, painted the parchment. We wrote you guys the name on. I painted it with rosemary and mugwort. So both of those are very much associated with Virgo. And mugwort especially because mugwort brings that intuition in. It's very much about visions. So I thought it was very appropriate since we are working on finding our gift for the world to use mugwort so you might get a vision about your gift. You might get some some downloads, some you know, some messages from your from your guides or from the universe. So I took the rosemary and mugwort and your guys' names. And I molded them into our little goddess figure. So she's been on her little bed here of mugwort and rosemary from our garden. Along with little unikite mushy rooms and a little unikite garnet and labradorite and we used a labradorite for her face to bring in the, um, the intuition and help us finding our unique gift and then our little quartz point pointing up at the labradorite again just to give that extra little boost with the with the um, quartz point that she's been sitting on her on her little bed here of mugwort and rosemary and then we put um, the garnet in there to help bring the passions help you find the passion bring that passion into your life for whatever your gift is uh, and then the unikite is to help you move, move forward guided by your intuition Okay, and then we have some of our our garnet towers around and our tiger's eye towers to bring in your confidence and give you that confidence to pursue your pursue your gift. Uh, and then we're burning a little mixture tonight of rosemary, lavender, sandalwood, and mugwort all for those Virgo energies to bring that, that healing and help us find our gift. And I am charging. So I got these specially for tonight. They're little Unikite mushroom pendants. So you can have that growth of your gift that intuition to help you find it. So I'm going to charge these tonight and I'm putting some of our bad bitch oil on them and they're sitting in there with our mugwort and our rosemary from the garden. And I'm actually going to make these into necklaces for tomorrow's sale to help so you can wear them so we can help guide you with your intuition to find your gift. Right? And we also, we got a couple little crescent moons that we're charging in here too. We'll have those tomorrow. So we're gonna let those sit out. But basically, that's it. I'm going to put our goddess. She's gonna go on the Morgan altar. And of course, the Morgan is all about feminine empowerment and that strong feminine energy. So I thought it would be perfect to, she was, she's going to sit up there in her little bed and she's going to charge with all of that 
fiery female energy from the war again. So we're going to keep her up there. But if that's, do you guys have any questions or anything? Uh, otherwise, we will be back tomorrow night at 4 Pacific uh, to do our live sale. Uh, we'll be in the lair, in the nice lair with Edgar. Edgar, for anyone that doesn't know, is who? Is my raven. Yes. <laughs> That's a derby raven. Which the other day we did, um, I did a spell in the morning to charge Edgar for protection for, uh, for the lair. So he is going to be protecting our energies in the lair. So Edgar is our protector. Our protector familiar. Um, but again, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And I hope you find your gift. I know you're going to find your gift. I don't even say, I hope. I know you're going to find your gift. And you know what? You have a wonderful, supportive community here that will help you on your journey. If it's not me that's helping you, there's so many amazing people in our little heaven. And I, it makes me so happy because I have, I have pers personally witnessed so many people in our coven finding their gift to the world and giving it out there and doing amazing at it and flourishing and being happy with it. So that brings me so much joy to see that. So again, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for sharing. Don't be scared to put it out there. Just do it.